Hello and welcome to part two of my demonstration of my CRM system built using Google Sheets and JavaScript. If you haven't watched part one yet, you can find a link in the description. Part one goes through how to add, edit and generally manage individual records. In this video, I'm going to show reports, how to query records and how to delete records in bulk. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is the dashboard. This is where you can see a real-time snapshot of your database. This dashboard was designed especially for the organisation the spreadsheet was built for, um, but I will go through each report one by one and explain what they are. This first one is the expected volunteer turnover. This shows how many volunteers we expect to have arriving and departing over the next four months, and also the overall turnover for each of these months. This one shows how many volunteers we have currently in each stage. So, for example, we have 12 active volunteers and we also have 19 people who have inquired about volunteering. This one lists the volunteers we are expecting in the next two weeks. And here we have the volunteers that are due to leave in the next two weeks. This shows their departure dates and it also shows whether they've had their exit interview or not. This helps the user plan and schedule in interviews for volunteers who are due to leave. And finally, we have upcoming birthdays. This is just a way to see if any of our current volunteers have a birthday coming up in the next two months. If you wish to do more detailed reporting or search the database yourself, then you will need to go to the Query tab. This is a really simple query tool designed to allow users to find the data they are looking for. I will show you a couple of examples to demonstrate how this works. First, let's imagine we want to find all volunteers who volunteered with us during the first three months of 2019. So first off, I'm going to select the arrival field. Then I'm going to say they must have arrived before the 1st of April. Next, I will add the criteria that they departed after the end of December. Now I can click Run. This will now search all records in the database and find those that meet my criteria. And now I have a list of all the volunteers who were supposed to be volunteering during the first three months of 2019. And I can see that the total count is 20. However, this isn't very useful information. So what I might want to do is add some output fields. On the right hand side here, you will see a series of drop down menus. And all this is, is a list of the available fields. From here, you can select the field that you want directly from the list, or you can start typing it and it will suggest a field for you. I'm going to output the status, the arrival date and the departure date. Now I can see a couple of records that I don't want in my results. Um, the applied and cancelled statuses should not be there because they did not in fact volunteer with us. So let me add that as a criteria. Status not equal to cancelled. And because status is a field with a drop down menu, that drop down will appear when we're looking for our values applied. This time when I press run, those unwanted records won't appear in my results and I'll have a more accurate count. Before I show you the next example, I will click clear and this will remove all of my existing criteria and my results so I can start afresh. In this example, I'm going to look for recent arrivals who have not yet paid their full contribution. So I will select arrival again as my field, but this time I will select the between operator. This allows me to enter two dates separated by a comma. So let's say they we're looking for people arriving between the first of this month and the current date, the 17th of May. and fully paid equals false. And let's click run. 
So these are the people we think that may not have paid their full contribution yet. However, let's add a bit more information so that we can be sure. Now I've added a few more outputs, I can see that this first one is actually cancelled, so we don't need payment from them. These two say not applicable. This bottom one still has 900 to pay, and the one above it is blank. So from here, I will want to look at the individual records. So I'll check Anna's record here, I click her name, and I press on this arrow button and that will open up her record in the view volunteer tab. And this will help me figure out exactly what's going on with this record and whether they do still owe some money towards their contribution. Some other useful outputs in the query tool is the date added and the added by fields. And the last updated and last changed by fields. And this is the email address of the user who last changed the record or added the record. And we know when they did that, so it helps us investigate records further. Next, I will show you how to use the query tool to anonymize or delete a group of records. Once you have your results, you just click delete. I can then enter a non and I can confirm yes, I want to anonymize five records. Click OK and you can see all those records have now been made anonymous. This is a nice easy way to anonymize the personal data on records so you can still use it for reporting but you don't hold information you don't need. Let's imagine now I want to delete some records. So let's create another selection. This time let's say the name contains a non and click run. This has found all of the anonymous records in the system. And maybe I just want to go ahead and delete these records. So I click delete, I enter Dell and I click OK. You are asked to confirm whether you want to go ahead and delete all of these seven records. Yes, I do. And those records are now completely removed from the system. The last thing I want to mention in the query tab is the difference between the match all and match any criteria. If you have the match all criteria selected, then only records that match every single criteria you've entered will appear in the results. If you're using match any criteria, then records only have to meet one of the criteria you have selected to appear in your results. So I hope you see how the query tool can help users run reports in KPIs or simply find a group of records that they are looking for. The final thing I want to show you in this video is how to bulk delete records. And yes, we have just kind of done that in the query tool. However, this is a more formal way of doing that on a regular basis. On the left hand side here, we have different groups of people that we need to delete with predefined settings. There are two main reasons why we would want to regularly delete a group of records. The first one is data protection. It allows us to remove records we no longer need to hold and therefore we will not be breaching any data laws. The second reason is performance. If we are able to remove unwanted data from our spreadsheet, then our spreadsheet will run much quicker. So we have these different sets of records here and their corresponding retention timeframes. For example, inquirers with last contact over six months ago. Now you can change these settings according to your own policies, but the idea is you enter it once and you don't have to re-enter these settings again. You can then select which sets you would like to delete. So you could delete them one by one, or you can select them all and delete them all in one go. The right hand side then lists all the records that are due to be deleted according to your settings on the left. 
this gives you an opportunity to double check the records and make sure there aren't any in there that you do not want to delete. If there are records that you actually want to keep, maybe because they're still active, then you can add their URNs to the exclusion list on the left here. And that will remove them from the delete list. So watch here, and number 42 has been removed. Now I can go ahead and click delete. And as before, I can enter Anon to anonymize this list of records, or I enter Dell and click OK and delete all the records in that list. Confirm you want all seven records to be deleted. And there we go, they're all gone. That's the end of this demonstration. If you do want a copy of this spreadsheet, then you can follow the download link in the description. If you have any other inquiries, then feel free to drop me an email.